Malapit na nang dumating ang nakatakdang araw ng labanang Pacquiao Spence ngayong August 21, 2021. At ating panoorin ang iba't ibang mga opinion at prediksyon ng mga kilalang boksingero tungkol sa sagupaang Pacquiao kontra Spence. Panoorin po natin. Thank you, brother. Yeah, bro. Uh, we got we got a big gift from uh from the boxing gods today. We got Pacquiao versus Spence announced. Mm. Tim, what's the chances that Manny can bring in the same form he did against Thurman? That he could come back at that level at 42, two years off. Listen, I mean, you you can never count on Manny Pacquiao. Like, he's a tough guy, to, you know, to, to not root for. Honestly, even at 42 years old, man, he's like the. I keep saying this, man, that he's Tom Brady. Of, of boxing, he really is, man. Um, just his tenacity, he brings in the ring, his hunger. Um, just not sure how much he has left. He's been out of the ring. It's been almost two years since Thurman, so uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's been doing. Um, he's just a gifted athlete. It could, it could be his time. Maybe he can, he can rise once again. Um, Earl Spence is just a different cat, man. He's a different cat. He's not a Keith Thurman. Um, Earl is, is big, he's, he's strong, he's long, consistent jab, knows how to gate distance, how to control distance. Um, his framework is beautiful, man. The way he lines up his shots, gets himself in position. Um, and he does a lot of he does, does a lot of great things. Um, there's one thing that I see that could could affect him during the fight. Um, he tends to come back. He'll, he'll work, and then he'll come right back to the center. Manny Pacquiao, he loves guys that come straight back in the center and back in the line of fire, so that way he can let, let in his straight left hand. Um, yeah, is but, there any way he's too straight up and down and Manny can take advantage of that? I mean, I, you know, we talk about Errol Spence, one of the best in the world, but you know, a guy that hands up, walks you down with the jab, that kind of thing. Can Manny, you know, it's nothing he's seen before or... No, I think Manny's seen it all. Right. Manny's seen it all, but the difference is that man, I don't think Manny's seen a southpaw this big and this active before, you know, and this smart. So, um, you know, there's always some danger when you're in, there, in the ring with Manny Pacquiao because the power is the last thing that leaves you. I mean, it really is. Uh, Manny does still have some speed. Uh, he's still fluent with his combinations. Um, but the back end of the fight is going to be very interesting because Spence don't get tired. He, he keeps coming and coming and coming. And his volume and work and his power that he brings, bro, it, it wears on you. So, um, great fight all, I mean, all together is a great fight. Um, I would favor Spence in the fight, but you never count Manny out, man. Man, he's, man, he's a beast. Do we want to see the biggest fights that we can see? That answer is yes. So, Spence versus Pacquiao for all three belts. See, this was the mission that your boy was on. I fell short, man, you know, and, uh, I did, I did some of the mathematics behind the fight. I said I fell about 15 punches short, man. Get your pu punch count up, young bloods. Get your punch count up, man. Don't fall short. You know, especially when you got it in you. Don't fall short, baby. Get that punch count up. Uh, it was a very close fight, but now I don't have a title. And Pacquiao's walking around with it. And Spence wants it, you know? And he said he don't want Thurman, so he's gonna be able to avoid me and, and become the undisputed as long as he gets past Pacquiao. Otherwise, Pacquiao will be probably one of the oldest ever to unify three world titles and be called the undisputed welterweight champion. No matter what, it's history in the making if we bring all three of these belts together. It's something that I've been waiting to see my whole career. I knew it would happen within my career uh, amongst the fighters that we have today in this generation. Um, I, do, I do respect Pacquiao, but I still do favor Spence. Um, just cause a few size, same reason why I favor myself, size, uh, youth, and then ultimately, when was the last time we saw Pacquiao against a world-class southpaw? Styles makes fights, especially against Manny Pacquiao. We've seen it throughout his career many different times. Um, but his number one attribute is that speed and that power and coming in at awkward, awkward little angles with that burst of energy. You know, I do believe that that's something that Errol has not seen in his career, um, punches the way that Pacquiao punches, but I was able to walk Pac down, keep my guard up. Uh, Spence is really good in this guard, you know, Spence from this side, he's really good in this guard. He's got that long, long jab, and um, 
I think he'll be able to do what he needs to do in the fight. But I'm not saying Pacquiao's out of it. If anybody's gonna make another upset, even though I heard theoretically he's already favored in Vegas. So, you know, is it an upset? Is it not an upset? Uh, it is what it is, man. He's a legend for a reason. I hope he comes with all the gusto that he did in the performance against me. Uh, because that's what I tipped his hat off to. He fought a good fight, he fought a smart fight, and he ended up edging me out. It's right up my alley. I mean, yeah, go fight the best, man. No matter what, it doesn't matter. You know, go prove to yourself that you can do it. You know, that's, that's what Manny is. Yeah. So, um, and I think Manny has a great shot. Yeah. As much as I love Spence, I mean, Spence is one of the best fighters out there today. Mm -hmm. um, and Spence wants to be great, which I, which I respect. I know you faced Manny Packer like 11 years ago, but just from what you see now, do you, do you still see the things that troubled you, made you trouble him? Um, yeah, he's, he's, fast. Fast. he's yeah. fast, he's fast, he's fast. He's a fast fighter, he's fast twitch. Uh -huh. And he's got a lot of footwork. Mm -hmm. Spence has to be careful with his footwork. Mm -hmm. um, I think, uh, I think, um, I think uh, Spence is maybe a, a tad bit slower than, than Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. That might be the difference, mm -hmm. but um, if, Sp if Spence can time him and pressure him, I think Spence has a great shot. Yeah, um, but Pacquiao is Pacquiao, you know? I got asked, of course, about uh, Pacquiao Spence. Do you think Pacquiao wins that fight? Well, how do you see that fight going? I mean, like every fight, there's always that chance of winning and losing, right? Um, it's how his results are, you know, he looked good in, in his last fight, can he keep that up like they did to me, right? And I don't count Pacquiao at all, you know, out. I mean, I think that he has the capability of doing it, of winning the fight. The question is, is, is he motivated, is he hungry enough? And the other side is, how is he going to be fighting against the Southpaw, right? When everybody's been fighting, uh, where, the, you know, as a Southpaw you have you have a, a um, uh, angle blind advantage, spot, right? right? You have right. the blind spot that he goes to constantly. Will he be able to do that with the southpaw? That is the question that everybody is, is eager to see, you know? But do I think that he has the ability to win the fight? Absolutely. Absolutely. What's, what's the best chance to victory? What do you think he's got to do to get past that long jab of Spence? And, that, that's you know, big young guy. Well, I, I, you know, I, I, I just, it's, it's very difficult because we've never seen him in a southpaw match with, with a caliber like, like Spence, you know, and especially with the reach, because I mean, if you have two southpaws, right, yep. for him, he likes to do this, right, well, the jab is just right there, right, right there, so is he going to be able to get out of it, you know, it's, it's the question that, that people can, can, uh, is, is constantly asking. You know, because on, 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 on here, you can always go here, or you can always go to the side. But here, you can't go here. It'll be like this, you know, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it. So, he has to strategize against a, a southpaw, a taller southpaw who has a good reach and, and who has a good jab. You know, and, and will, will it be very difficult for him? It could be very difficult for him. What do you do? Do you use your feet, feints? Like how feint? Feint is definitely the key. Because you know he, he does this right, and that's why for 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 Spence is the jab stepping up. For head is the faint head movement, faint head movement. You know, in there. Do you think uh, Spence can handle uh, Manny's angles? That's the thing is that there's no angle. If you go angle right here. If you're a southpaw, you go angle. Boom boom. It's just it's like fighting a right hander. The angle is is if right if I'm coming this way, the angle is here. Right. So it drops it drops it straight right down the middle to the body to the head with the jab over. An angle here you can't really do that unless he goes when when Spence jab he moves his head here boom one two jab really fast or if Spence jab he goes over here to throw an overhand or a straight. But it has to be done fast and quick, especially with the reach. Do I think he's gonna be he's capable of it? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're, you're the greatest fighter of all time in, in terms of in, in your 40s, in your 40s, talking about guys fighting in the you the greatest. I'm out there with that Jersey Joe Drake, Archie Moore, Archie Moore, Moore. Mm -hmm. and, and so with that, 
Pacquiao yeah, now at 40 is winning, beating the key third. See where I start now. But what's no, crazy about it is he did, he really showed. I don't see, it's not even. Good. Sorry, I cut you off. No, but, but, but basically, just that the way you did it was. You always mentioned it's my brain, it's my source, so even with my athletic well, ability. It's not only the brain, it's also, it, first of all, it's the mindset. A, and then it's keeping your body prepared, so it's hand in hand. The body, mind, and, 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 and soul and spirit, but the body has to be taken care of in the process of you aging. So your mind can say you can do anything. How many people you know that they, they can do anything because their mind says it? But reality, they get a reality check and realize when they talk to the doctor, you're trying to run with that 25 year old on 880s, 50 yard dash, and you pull the muscle. Duh. You can't. So there's a, a combination of, of Pacquiao taking care of himself. Pacquiao having been in a lot of wars. Pacquiao still being in the flashbacks of Pacquiao. And his energy. And he would beat a lot of guys that's half his age. But he, but I remember you said like, you talked about James, Tony, and Roy, and you said not you. You got great talent too, but you said them guys had more just natural, God-given talent, and you outlasted them because you you knew more tricks in the bag, you you knew the craft. So how come Manny is able to do it in his 40s when when most fighters that rely on that crazy speed that they've been gifted with, you know what I mean? How's it different? Because they because they rely on one of two things. Pacquiao's an all-around fighter. Uh, how do you see Manny versus Spence going? Pacquiao versus Spence. Uh, very interesting fight. Very interesting fight. But uh, I don't know about the result because, you know, age, age. Too, too young, too strong, too skilled. But I think age, it's, it's a key. How tough is it when you've been a southpaw and you got to fight another southpaw for the first time in a while? Look, for me, for me, I like it. Yeah. For me, for me, it's uh, comfortable because uh, in amateur we fought with uh, each other a lot of times, so far and so far. That's why for me it's good. But I don't know how how uh, uh, it's good for uh, these guys. Is it is it harder to get that angle when you're not facing a, a another right hander? Uh, the blind spot. For me, no. For me, it's not hard. For me, it's not hard. But you know, it's individual. What do you do differently to be effective? You need to you need to use a lot of time your jab, your jab, and your yeah, yeah, front, front, front hand. Hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga katrip. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, comment at mag-subscribe. Gandang araw sa ating lahat.